not easy, but families are eager to find a way to get outdoors and hit the roads. That's why we're talking about RVs. Mike Coddell joining us live from Old Hickory Lake in Tennessee. Mike, RV camping is making a comeback. Is that right? Thank you come back and right now listen to this RV rental sales across the nation are up 650 percent and the good news today in California is that state parks are starting to open people want to socially distance themselves by getting away and they're doing it in things like this this is a less than 5,000 pound RV trailer and people just want to get away Yes, they do. And I've always been fascinated with the opportunity to go camping in an RV because you have everything you need right there. You don't necessarily have to rough it. What are some advantages uh, with during this coronavirus pandemic that choosing to do the RV route is better to do? Yeah, so think about this. And for me, I just can't let go of the fishing pole. I love fishing. It's one of the reasons we moved from California to Tennessee. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a couple different things really fast. Here's what's great about socially distancing in the RV world is that you can take your campfire right here. This is a Brio X series and it's a campfire and it's also a grill. Then you've got your setup outside and it just keeps the family together. So I want to show you guys this really fast. I'm going to bring you inside and show you the inside of this this little mini trailer. So this is a Keystone Outback. And if you make your way in, it's got double bunks for the kids. It's got a microwave. You've got your shower. And then, of course, you've got this great living quarters. So think about it. You're taking your home on the road, and you're literally giving everyone a chance to get outside, get some nature, do some fishing and paddle boarding. And at the same time, just enjoy being together and socially distancing. So across the nation right now, it's nuts. And what people are doing is they're going to... Like in the auto industry, you go to Kelly Blue Book. In the RV industry, you go to a website called GoRVing.com. What kind of RV do you want to want to want to use? You want a Class A or a Class C, like a big one that you drive or a trailer? So they're giving you all these options and allowing you to research it before you hit the road, which is great. Yeah, that's perfect. Because I was going to actually ask you about where can we go to get some more information about RVs, in particular, too. How much do these cost? Yeah, so that's a great question, and everything is on that GoRVing.com site. So if you go there. It gives you everything on state parks and BLM property, and then it gives you a breakdown of all the different types of vehicles that you can uh, get behind the wheel of. Now, what's great about this is that you have a trailer that you can detach your vehicle and drive around town or go to the grocery store. But if you want to rent one, listen to this, 55 bucks a month, you can rent a small Class C motorhome and make your way across the country. Here's what we learned about California. Because the state parks were closed, people are renting them and leaving the state of California with their family just to go adventure. Go, going to other places like Yellowstone, getting out into Arizona, checking new things out. And it's a great way to socially distance while keeping your family safe, but also having a great time. All right, Mike, thanks so much. We saw some of those images. They are so fancy on the inside. We appreciate it. We will talk to you later. Thank you for joining us and talking about the RV world.